one, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Let's go over this pretty quickly because I've gone over this before. And I've gone over this recently. I think it was two or three videos ago. We all know about this where she said she wants a KMS because she thought she had a spider or she ate a bug. Flipsy was like, maybe steer clear of the jokes. Uh, to present to your co-workers uh, did attempt. Uh, the, to be fair, Flipsy did state that they were trying to be genuine here since genuine anything regarding the KMS is going to set any Niji hater off or any person with the common sense off regarding circumstances. So they were actually not trying to be an a-hole because originally... In my original take, in my original take, I think it was two days ago, I considered him to be an a-hole. But now having more information, I stand corrected and I always want to correct myself. So I am putting out this video here because I want this to stand corrected. I stand corrected according to this person, but because they're known as the Niji hater and their PFP is very recognizable, it kicked up a storm anyways. Especially since people don't like Finana before the Selenor Zion thing. It didn't come from Flipsy. It was going to come from someone else. And apparently her and Bao made a submarine joke. Remember the submarine that, that collapsed in each other. And I think seven people passed away. It was an unfortunate event done with hubris. It was it was the mistake of the of the rich guy who made the, the submarine. But it sucks that people died. Pretty much I was trying to get at it. Been like four months back to back. Controversies big and small. I agree that we should not harass or bully any livers. And the majority of people here agree. But we simply just cannot stop the general sphere. If they want to bully, they will. Regardless of what Doki and them say. Of course... From what is being said from Flipsy, this wasn't a bully. This was more of an educational thing of trying to be like, hey, you know, this is not going to look good to anybody. You already have a lot of eyes on you. It's best not to make these things, especially when Doki and uh, Zion or Sayu try to attempt at one point in time. You're preaching to the choir. Maybe don't bring attention to drama baiters, trolls. He may be a troll or whatever and other things. But in this one, according to what was being said here, uh, me correcting myself again, uh, this was meant as a genuine trying to be like, hey, I'm going to be the nice one here, and it could be way worse for you. I've always hated the KMS jokes, and I don't like Flipsy v Tweeter, uh, so they cancel each other out in neutral. In my opinion, I do not think it was a form of harassment. Two Finana's ex coworkers attempted. Finana makes it an S joke when Firestorm still has remaining effects. Someone educates her that is not an appropriate joke. Whatever the motivation, the person doing a better job than Finana's manager. Yes, and that is what I want to leave it at. They weren't trying to do it evil way. I'm correcting myself from something I said before. Because I always, always take criticisms and I always want to make sure I say the right things, correct myself if I have to. Here we go. We have Saya Synchronicity, which recently has had good and bad things happen. You know, she's mentioned some things when Armchair Expert, which is recently what she's done. She mentioned something about Finana Ryugu. Uh, she is uh, talking specifically about the Armchair Expert recent revisiting the worst smear campaign in VTubing history. Uh, he went over the whole Zion Lanza situation. And recently we have a video by, um, specifically by uh, Finana here, which we're going to go over a little bit of the history of uh, Finana saying these things right after uh, Zion got terminated. And then we have Rainbow Retirees clip that we're going to show about, you know, recently how Saya reacted to it. With the recent announcement about Zion that happened, um, I actually have a lot, a lot of feelings that really welled up in me because um, I believe on what was mentioned on the, um, termination thing, um, it mentions things like how she liked other people and stuff, and I apparently happened to be one of those people, actually, so, um, I was really, I was feeling really, really depressed for quite a while, so, um, I've never had that happen to me before, so it was really wild but i hate that i'm a really nice person sometimes and like to give others the benefit of the doubt but there was one time where i was trying to help her out um i gave her some advice you know to you know do it properly but um she didn't really listen to what i said so that got her in trouble and i thought it was a misunderstanding from staff side so you know, and this happened like during my vacation, um, my recent vacation, and um, I spent some of my time to sort of defend her a bit. Um, but then I realized I got gaslit after that. I was like, oh my god. I didn't realize I was just gaslit the entire time, and 
I did all of that for nothing, basically. Yeah, so that's not that's I, not true though. I felt really horrible about it, and I was really sad that she didn't really mention to me either about it or talk to me about it. So I was, I felt really hurt for a while. And next, we're gonna be talking about the Sayu thing. Sayu's gonna be doing her it own. It happened thing. again, kind of thing. You know, like why couldn't you just talk? And this happened twice with another girl there, obviously, who was one of Zion's, someone that Zion thought she was very close to as well. And she also got backstabbed after they talked, which was even worse. They talked privately and cleared up everything and explained things. And she basically told the story that got told before they talked. It was her thoughts on what happened before they even talked things through. And that's why um before they talk that's why i am angry at her because it's like the whole talk never happened between the two of them like they talked privately in dms and oh boy i wish i wish she had screenshotted that but it was very very long like i do not like accusing people of doing things that are bad or negative i don't like doing that because a lot of people just make mistakes i make mistakes a lot of people just have bad wording but i do not do not understand why she would talk about what happened if they had already talked things through as if they had like it's very very hurtful and i think that being in the industry in this space for so long she knows the weight of her words not like kotoka where kotoka maybe didn't know the weight of her word how much it would affect and hurt the person afterwards but the other one definitely did and that is what i don't like i think that is very ill-willed and that is my take on this whole thing <clears throat> i think it is very ill-willed for finana to do that um, I trust Sayu because Sayu is not an unfaithful narrator. She has never really done things incorrectly or lied about things. She's accepted things that have happened. She's accepted when she's made mistakes. She's accepted all these things. And for Finana to go behind her back and say the things that she said, gaslighting is a very strong and very bad manipulation tactic. It is a manipulation tactic that I have had happen to me. I do not wish that on anyone else. It makes you question if you're even like doing things right. It makes you question if you're even at, you know, if remembering things correctly. It makes you question yourself for God's sakes a lot of times. And that is just not fun, not good, especially not from someone you consider a friend or you considered a friend you had a long conversation with in Discord. And of course you didn't have the proof of it because, you know, a lot of times you don't think of taking um, screenshots the only time people take screenshots is when they want to hurt you. So you don't think of taking screenshots about that. But of course, I hope Sayu... Sayu is in a much better place right now, though. Sayu has really, really good community. Really nice people around him, her. So she is going to be doing fine. But this sucks that Finana ever did this to her. It's why people don't like Finana in a lot of situations. Why they feel she's a backstabber. It's just giving you guys the full... Uh, story on this because i of course want you guys to see all the backing of it i have a positive bit of sayu news now that we covered uh earlier uh some other news or at least in another portion some other news of sayu some negative news with her and finana sayu can't handle chats flirting it's been said like a hundred times already but goddamn her model's crazy expressive really insane it's honestly amazing how well tracking and facial movements are sayu trying to fix everything chat time to pat bad chat bow bow because if you put your hand between her cyber ear thingies you'll get electrocuted Made that up on the spot. One nice thing about indie though is that you have to worry about your model quality. You only the only constraints you have with model quality is money. Uh, she also mentioned that it tracks her face pretty well, so you get the whole wise wide open shut kind of deal thing. Yes. So here we go. Here here's the whole thing. Mesa girl, Mesa heard you so liking a particular Pokemon plushie, so let me take a Pikachu. Oh God. You know what? That was that was a good one. That, that was, was a good one. That was that was. <laughs> she can't handle the Riz. Oops. Okay. Well, anyways. Touching her booba! Why are you petting my boobs? What is your problem? Excuse me? <laughs> Not petting her belt. Oh god. You're petting her thighs. You got you're petting the anime got thighs. Him. Got him. Got him. Fixed it. Fixed it. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It fixed it for you. Yeah, fixed it right there. I hope you're happy. Yeah. You're welcome, by the way. Sniffer, sniffer, sniffer. Sniffer, sniffer. Okay, yep. <clears throat> I'm so close, yeah. Are you? Yeah, are you? Yeah, are you? I'm not. I'm not. Fucking sniffers in chat. <laughs> so there we got sniffers in chat, of course. The sniffers, the sniffers, the sniffers. Sayu uh, couldn't handle the Riz. She couldn't handle the Riz, and she got a sniffer as well. So she got all the things pushed towards her, which is a fun moment for Sayu, because of course I want you guys to see a fun moment of Sayu.
Here we have an update from Callie on her condition, her current condition from the YouTube community update right here, showing proof as I always want to show proof. I'm glad when they do. Hey, skeletons, it's your boy. Just saying howdy. Things have been difficult. I'm hanging in there. I've been spending my days endlessly watching movies. But after today's appointment, it looks like I'll have more mobility options and will be focused on my rehabilitation for my knee. Anyone who doesn't know, she got a knee surgery recently. She had to because it was really, really negatively affecting her. I don't like to worry any of you, but the surgery had complications and it being twice as long as the doctor anticipated. I was in so much worse shape than they had imagined. And the way I was exercising, I really did a number on not just my knee, but many things connected to it. It has been a really taxing process and I'm still in a lot of pain even right now, but you know me, I'm not giving up and on my healing. Not like I have a choice, but a couple nights after surgery, I really could only think I'm not going to make it. It's just tough because I like to identify what I can do to help better myself and do it. But in this case, the only way to better myself is doing nothing at all. Better yet, relaxing, which is something I'm notoriously bad at. Oh yeah, she's notoriously bad at that. She is doing like sometimes four or five o'clock in the morning things, sleeping for an hour, then going and doing more stuff for the whole freaking day. She has worn herself out before where she's had to take actual breaks because her managers are forcing her to take breaks because she doesn't take them herself. It is definitely a good thing I'm taking a long rest. The other day I was just thinking about what to grab for lunch and started crying and hyperventilating on the spot. Imagine, how's this Grim Reaper herself crying and dry heaving over what sandwich to get and whether I should skip out on chips? I think feeling immobile, useless, and otherwise pathetic has something to do with it. Uh, they, sad face. They told me I'm emotional after surgery, but this is on another level. They, they said that they're going to be emotional because, of course, you lose your mobility. So I don't think I'm, I'm stable enough to stream, and I won't be for longer than I initially thought. I have a ballpark estimate of what we'll be, when we'll be back, and it's the end of May. So good, she's taking a good break. We'll still do members-only streams, but I get ready for them to be crammed in the last three days or so. Anyways, that's my report. You, but do you deadbeats have any shows you enjoyed marathoning or movie recommendations? Specifically, I really like thrillers and psychological twists. How about games on Steam? A Steam that will uh, pair well with Steam Deck. I'm finally feeling better enough to enjoy video games again. So if you have any Steam Deck recommendations, let me know. Thanks for your patience, everyone. I'll be keeping myself on the healing track so we can return a conquest over humanity immediately upon my return. Mori. And then she has, you know, a little band-aid on her knee. At least you can be a guard in the Skyrim now. I echo everyone else's sentiment. Oh yeah, take an arrow to the knee. She took an arrow to the knee now. It's a whole Skyrim meme. Everyone else's sentiment, take as long as you need. Look after yourself. We will be here when you're ready. Chronic pain is serious effing issue. Uh... I see it firsthand. Healing property from your surgery is being patient with the rehab to try to avoid chronic pain. Yes, because she could mess things up if she doesn't work hard to prevent those type of situations. And people here, I just read the whole thing. I've read some stories about workaholic. A wife has a husband who's like that. And he couldn't even enjoy vacation he has with his family, always itching to be working again. Looks like Callie's just like him in a way. I hope she makes a full recovery. I do too. She's so hard on herself. This really makes you reevaluate the pace she keeps herself at the... Because gosh darn... Uh, it's rehabilitation. Hope rehabilitation goes well for her. Story from a streamer. She was a former Blizzard dev that was talking about how after working for Blizzard for a time, went to a different studio and was having issues because she felt like she wasn't really, he wasn't really doing much for the team. So he went up to his boss and asked him how he could improve. His boss told him to take the day off and then rest the rest of the weekend off too because his boss was also a former Blizz employee and was recognizing that's the reason why he felt like he was doing a terrible job. Because Blizzard crunched their employees so hard that it causes the person to not be able to recognize what a reasonable work pace is. Kind of felt like Callie is this because yeah, she works herself hard. Hollow Life doesn't work her hard. Universal Music doesn't work her hard. She works herself too hard. And just not able to turn the gears down when she really should. And I hope she works her herself down and is able to relax finally with a little bit of doki meme later but we'll talk about the dokiness right now hear me hear me the neopet stream will make a comeback soon if you remember correctly the black stream the black screen stream from an era of box and ike it interrupted her neopet stream and she ended up having an anxiety attack during that moment so she's going to get to do it again and she says right here, look at what I got in the mail. Thank you so much, Neopets, for reaching out and sending me a gift package. Little Doki would have thought this was a dream. I look forward to working with you guys in the future. So, of course, she's going to be working with them in the future. Of course, because she is Doki Bird. She is the love of everyone's life right now. People are really enjoying her, and rightfully so. It's become clearer now that Niji has been blocking opportunities for the livers, especially for Doki slash the Len. You think your anger would subside by now, but nope, it gets more intense. Had the black stream not existed, Doki would have been probably enjoyed her Neopets gameplay. Probably the sub wouldn't have been created. Probably Niji would have stand still, uh, but not becoming a laughing stock. They're just opportunities that were obvious uh, enough for us to see. How many other opportunities got killed behind the scenes? We don't know. Uh, yeah, it, Niji does slandering stunt uh, during the stream. Then someone in Niji must really hate Neopets. How dare them they hate Neopets. Neopets are amazing. It's any color better. Expect it. Uh, 
and it says right there, will they even have the courage to redo such a thing as nonstop PR failure? They probably won't. Uh, Nidhi's not going to do anything to Doki. Heck, uh, if anything, they're full sprinting in the opposite direction from her. Yeah, they're trying to avoid her pretty much. Swear Kurosanji better not do anything during the Neopets stream. They better not. They honestly, because they're, it's going to destroy them, honestly. Makes me wonder how many opportunities were blocked by Niji and how many the only coming up now due to the giant spotlight cast on her because of the very public termination. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to I'm going to show you the direct thing here because, of course, I want to show sources. I always want to show sources where available. And here it is from Doki Bird's own Twitter, as I have open right here. It is saying, of course, as you can see. Look what I got in the mail. Same thing. People are saying, oh my God, the plushies. Nice. We need an endorsement stream by Neopets. There's still hope for Neopets stream. Neopets stream dream is still alive. I stream Neopets every day. And when I heard about your Neopets stream, I dedicated a pet to you. You've been zapping her though. <laughs> I've been zapping her though. She's a skunk squiggle. Now I'm so sorry. So Ducky Bird. Did, someone did a Ducky Bird one. So that's, that's good times. And the next one, the really quick one, is uh, Doki Bird basically streaming as an indie. Now she can just quick stream now and do what she wants. And streaming as a JP-owned Corpo VTuber, need game perms, schedule time slot, perms from a mod makers and mods used, have limited time to finish due to perms being temporary, need to finish other non-streaming work so management doesn't revoke perms. It's really tough for her. JP Corpo seems a bit broad because uh, I would believe Hollow would get perms. Yes, no, then stream away. No, sorry, we tried. Someone forgot to watch Marine Clip. They did it to protect us. When you're big enough, you will get targeted by copyrights. Hollow Life would have let their talents go wild like Matsuri Days if it didn't lead to a ban. They Hollow Life is doing it specifically because if you guys don't know, Okami Mio, the one who recently took a hiatus, she got two copyright strikes on her channel by Capcom. Almost three. She almost got her channel banned. And a bunch of other ones got copyright strikes well from Capcom. So after that, Hollow Life was like, delete everything that has to do with Capcom. Delete everything you can. We do not want these copyright strikes to happen. Wait for us. We're going to get perms. We're going to make a, a contract with Capcom, which they did, and make it work. Blame JP for copyrights. Don't blame Hollow Life for this. Yeah, don't blame the big VTubers. I mean, I mean the big ones. This is more like bad JP Corpos of, of rescinding the, the perms. Uh, this is more like Nidhi Sanji. Hollow learned a lot from the mistakes. Basically, jetpacks available now. Meanwhile, Kota Sanji put up the extra walls. To scale, yes. So this is more like Nidhi Sanji being bad. This is what Doki went through pretty much. That's why I put it in the whole Doki Bird segment. Because this is more what Doki went through, not what they're going through in Hollow Life. And here's a random little meme. A nice little meme that I like uh, when it comes to Shiori. Uh, it says, great when you don't have to just effing ask, isn't it? Thank you for mu so much for making the plushie. She got her 100,000 subscribers sent directly to her. It's not on a white table. It's not in a white background. She actually has her own little plushie. She has her own little knife because she's Shiori. Of course she is. And, um... It says, Shiorin, you know it's greater, not 2%. Congrats on the un unfixable ar ar archivist. And look, not while not a white wall or table in sight. Speaking of Shiori, this may or may not be her second one. If her PL actually got into the keep the first one, those who don't know, Shiori was once uh, this person, uh, one of the first EMV tubers ever. She's one of the OGs, all right. That's what people are saying. Uh, nice to see that she's being treated with respect in, in, in Hollow Life. And of course, I believe she's being treated with respect, which is why I wanted this short little Shiorin meme break for you guys. Another bit of Hollow Life things. It's a short one. Shiori is going to grow, is growing a, a hair monster in her bathtub uh, for reasons, I think. I think it's just because she's Shiori. It says, uh, Nerissa's thinking about the fact that every day people lose around 100 hairs, meaning every day 100 of my hairs are on the ground somewhere in Japan. JP, Jailbirds, it's time to find and collect. Uh, Shiori responds with, I'm leaving all hair, all my hair in the shower drain until we leave. It's like watching a monster grow. Of course, Shiori would do that. Give us some radiation. We may create tentacle monster. Marine has entered the chat. Uh, red and Asian. Red Ina. Asian. Uh, mandatory enough. Ayo. How these two tweets encapsulate so well their unique weirdness. Uh, Shiori, scary weird. Narissa, horny weird. Uh, Bibu, just weird. Uh, Fuomoko, violent bao bao weird. Hachama has entered the chat on her way to cook it and eat it on stream because Hachama eats everything on stream. What, what in the fresh heck? Be right back. Buying a flight to Japan. Oh, God, some people. Some people are down bad. Uh, meanwhile, the cleaning staff is assuming that Kayako is staying in this particular room. I guess there's another thing with Kayako as well. Last night, I made a video on this whole situation where Iron Mouse, as I'm going to play again for you, Iron Mouse does not like the Annie Live app. Let's play it. We is because I'm very well aware that I that I have a lot of people that follow me, so I don't want anybody to like dogpile or like be mean to whatever I'm gonna say, like to the issue that I'm addressing because it's cringe. There's like this new app. <laughs> There's this new app that's VTubing app only called Annie Live that I saw today, and I saw people announcing that they were gonna stream on that app, and I see 
a, a, a fellow uh, content creator slash person who rigs for the community asking about their practices. And apparently, they do not work with VTube Studio. You have to upload your model onto their site so that it can be imported and made compatible to stream on their site. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Absolutely not. What the f If you are a VTuber, do not do this. Do not go and do that. That is your property. That is your thing. They, you don't know what the f you're doing with that sh What the f Are you exactly. crazy? I, I just I just saw that and I'm like, I am appalled. That they, they, they'll they be like, no, we don't use VTuber Studio. You gotta use our sh So you gotta give us your model. I'm like, what the f are, are you kidding me? Yeah. Hello? What? I ain't giving you my f model, bro. They said they said they don't use VTube Studio because they asked for the that files to adapt like a one -way trip their, to to adapt models to their in-house software. So they want you to use their software. That is the trick to getting on the site because they're promoting a site where VTubers can stream on, but they want you to use their software. But it's just like, so why don't you just use, you why don't you just Twitch make software YouTube. then? It could always be worse. It could be kick. So that's the part that I want to say, and I want to um, take a look at uh, something down here. <clears throat> Uh, I saw something around here. Um, there's a lot of lack of misinformation, lack of slash misinformation on how the app works. This person apparently is looking at the app here. VTubers upload their model to the server. The model files are streamed to everyone's phones. The VTuber's phone only sends facial capture and sound data to the viewers. So this is more information based on everything that's going on here. The viewer's phones take that animation and sound data and animate the model locally on their own devices. It's a bit similar to remote player animation, basically like server side animation, player animation, replication of online games that, in that sense. I'm not defending it alive, but I do feel I need to clear up any miscommunication so we know what we're talking about. But the method here, no actual camera data is sent from the VTuber's phone. The fact that the model files are being streamed to everyone's phones, yeah, it's not the most assuring. That's the issue that I have. It's IP rights. You're taking my IP if you are an independent VTuber. That IP belongs to you. That is something that you do only share with people you really trust. I have shared it before, but that's because I really trust certain people out there. So those things you only share with people you really trust. I wanted to get the full information out there. Um, I had made a video about this before, but I want to get the full information out there because I missed some of this information here. It says, oh God, that's even worse. And it says file security is paramount. If they want people to trust them, I suspect that is why Android version is delayed. If it wasn't for the massive security concern, it's actually a really ingenious way to stream. It, it helps people who don't have iPhones. It helps people who don't have big computer setups. It helps people who don't have two computer setups. It definitely helps that. It can definitely make a small VTuber be helped in that sense, but it's still, it's your IP rights. That's the issue. It's my safety, my security. If I can absolutely, there have been large companies that have had data breaches. If I can lose my data and lose my VTuber because of this, my file that is very, very private to me, that is a risk. Uh, it's an ingenious way to stream. Yes, it's a brand new way to stream. Very low data usage and processing power since no actual video is being streamed. And file security is a meme. Once the user has the file in physical possession, the file is compromised. Like once you lose physical possession, your file is compromised. The most sketchy one is uploading raw files with no other app uses and have to get it just for this one. I guess they need the raw files to reconstruct it in their own proprietary format, which I'm guessing is designed, optimized to work with phones. That's the issue. They're taking your data. I don't like that. I really don't like that. And they're creating a new platform to, to compete against YouTube and Twitch, that's not going to work. Most people, most people don't realize the app is not a replacement for YouTube or Twitch. It's just a com complimentary app for VTubers to do simple chatting streams and get connected with other viewers when they don't have access to their PC. So that's a possibility. That can be fine. You can do just chatting streams with that. That's fine. But the whole file security thing, the open alpha registration form has this to say about the model. Do you consent to submit a live 2D data that you have the rights to, to use commercially. We have two main reasons for requesting that you submit your model to us. To ensure a seamless lag-free experience for the audience, it's critical that we directly integrate the Life 2D model data into our service. From our technical design perspective, the model data is necessary to enable mobile-only streaming delivery without a PC. So that is one plus. You can do mobile-only streaming. That's fine. But it's still the, the, the file security is the big thing that hits me. And regard to, uh, we highly focus on security matters in regard to the Life 2D model. We are employing robust encryption uh, for each and every piece of data that prevents uh, data theft. But eventually, data will get taken. That is my take on it. And of course, you guys can agree to disagree. That is just my take on the whole situation. Just wanted you guys to know the update and wanted you guys to know the clarification on that one. Going over this really quickly. This is Yume, uh, Yume Plus Talents Aimes, uh newest model thing. Uh, they already showed something. Uh, this kind of reminds me of the, of the Psycomb light novel. 
This is basically a mask to cover up what they actually look like. And here we have their actual face. As you can see here, uh, if, I, if I show it to you, there you see her face. She is a cute looking uh, VTuber here. There you go. There's the model. There's favorite animes. Uh, Roroni Kenshin right here. A woman after my own heart, favorite games, Final Fantasy XIV, action RPGs, also love those things. So they put it here that they'll be doing their own debut. Things are going to be working. People are very interested. People were very excited about this situation and hoping, I hope, that of course she's going to be doing very well for herself. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.